hi guys so before we get into the sales um i just wanted to let you guys know i did yesterday have a kind of weird day a really good friend of mine that i've known over 20 years we um were chatting about reselling because she's a reseller as well and talking about background removal and then Five minutes later, she tells me her house is on fire, and she says the whole thing, not just a small fire. We are not sure what happened. Everybody did get out. I think one of her kids was home, and her husband was at work. So everybody did get out safely. They do have insurance, but I feel like I would like to help her because she's going to need stuff now. <laughs> like, she's going to need clothes, and, you know, they're going to have to figure out where to stay and who knows how long insurance will take. So I want to start off with this. Um, I'll show you guys a picture that she sent me of the house. And anyways, I want to help her by letting everybody know if you can. And it can be a dollar or two. It doesn't really matter. And if you can't, that's okay. Please just keep her in your thoughts and prayers. So... I'll post her PayPal up. I didn't want to start a GoFundMe because I have heard that it can take a little bit of time for that to get to the person. And I want her to have these funds now. So if you could send directly to her PayPal and do it as friends and family. So no fees for either of you. That would be amazing. If a few people send a couple of dollars, it will add up. So I just wanted to start with that. I did put it on my Instagram but I know some of you don't follow me there or don't have Instagram. So those of you that did help, she said, thank you so much. I haven't said her name just to protect her privacy. She did not ask me to do this. Um, I want to do this to help a friend. So now that that is out of the way, I am going to show you guys some stuff. It will mostly be popped up on the screen because I am going to work and I have not pulled it. So we had some great sales yesterday, and then I'm going to roll Monday sales for you guys. So I have already shipped, I'll show you here, a violin. I paid $270 for this, and sometimes you do have to spend more money to make more money. Put it up on auction. I was hoping it would go for more, but I only got one bid. It sold for $499, and the buyer did pay for shipping. So I'm trying to raise my average sale price and this is one of the ways I did it and I saw a similar one that sold on auction for over 50,000. I did send pictures of this first to a violin appraiser to make sure I did not have something like that. They said that it was not worth putting it in their auction. I therefore listed on eBay on auction starting at 499 because I wanted to at least make, you know, a little over $100 profit. So, sold that and then I also, if you saw my video from last Monday, I picked up a lot of stuff at the medical auction that is doing great. And again, anybody can bid at that. So I found it on high bid. If you happen to see one posted somewhere, you typically do not need any type of medical license to bid on them. It is just overstock items. So doing amazing on that. I got 60 mannequins for CPR training. And I sold one set of 10. That set sold for $285 plus shipping. The buyer is $411 all in. And the profit on that lot, I'm actually in the profit on all of it, which is amazing. And then I also sold four Russell Wright Iroquois Fruit Bowls. These did sell for $17 plus shipping. Buyer is $33.76 all in, which Russell Wright is a great brand. If you don't know it, it's kind of a mid-century modern look and it does have it written on the bottom. So keep an eye out for that. And then I sold this Night Eyes. Uh, this light was in a box lot from an auction and I have less than a dollar in and sold for $16.19 plus shipping the buyers $22.83 all in. And then <clears throat> up next is a Native American brochure. So 
So someone sent me an offer of five and I'm like, hey, I'm just trying to get to the profit on these. You're going to see some coming up here. So I am a little over halfway to profit. They offered me five dollars. This is just a simple two page brochure. I accepted. They paid shipping. They are nine dollars and thirty seven cents all in. And then up last and I actually have this. Um, I sold the scarf. And this one doesn't have a name. So I just put it as a vintage red center, yellow tulip daisies, handkerchief scarf. So less than a dollar in and sold for $11.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $17.21 all in. So I had, I'm going to tell you guys here, I'll look. I had a $618 sales day yesterday. And the day before was over a thousand. So my eBay sales are up 71% from last month, which is amazing. And I'm hoping I can maintain that and even go higher coming into Q4. Those of you that don't know, Q4 is basically your holiday shopping and Christmas time. So if you don't have stuff listed, now is the time. So let's take a look at what else. All right. So up first, and if you are on my Instagram, you have already seen some of these. But I did get a box of brochures off of Grimes Times. He um, had a box lot. I paid $60 plus shipping. Probably about $120 into these, but there are well over $100. So I'll say less than a dollar into each. So if you see these at estate sales or something, a big box of them, I would definitely grab them. So this particular one is from Tonto National Monument. Really cool. These this one's from 1963. Um, I do have some from the 1930s, which is pretty cool. So we'll say a dollar in. This one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $13.70 all in. And the cool thing about these, two of the people that have purchased so far have asked for more. So I told them I have a big box to go through and I will send them some photos and I might be able to do some bulk deals on this stuff. And then up next, we sold two. These are quite assurance. I got these at the thrift store. I didn't pay more than $2 a pack. There are two packs of them and they sold for $35.99. So $4 into $35.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $63 and 44 cents all in. So look, if you see adult undergarments at the thrift, look them up because quite a few of them sell pretty well. And then up next, this is a box lot I did get at the thrift store as well. This one is um, Fountain Creek Chronicles. It's a three book set. I paid, I believe, a dollar at the thrift store, and this one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $13.06. All in. Next is this little Betsy Johnson purse. It does have like the gold interwoven chain. I got this on a pallet for work 50 cents. There were hundreds of purses on a pallet. And this one sold for $19 plus shipping. The buyer's $25 and 18 cents all in. Betsy Johnson purses and jewelry seem to sell pretty well. This one took a little bit longer, but because it's clean. So most of the Betsy Johnson stuff is kind of loud and bright colors. And this one wasn't. So I think that's why it took a little longer to sell. Up next. Lots of condoms. Um, we sold a hundred pack of condoms. They sold for $20 free shipping. If you remember, I did buy a box of a thousand of these. Um, so I listed nine lots of 100 and 10 lots of 10 to move them out. And um, I paid 25 for all, two and a half cents into each. So for each hundred, I am $2 in. These sold for $19.99 free shipping, which will only be a few dollars. So we'll make about $15 profit on it. So this scarf, this one has some really cool circles on it. I'll try and open it up for you guys. So you can see there. So this one I described as vintage boho and I put autumn colors just because of the colors that are on there. And I have less than a dollar in and this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $13.99 all in. So I did buy a big box lot of scarves. I paid $50 for over 50 of them, but buying 
I think lots of stuff is a good way to learn because when you're searching, you're going to see what's selling for good so that if you see that later, it is obvious to you, hey, I saw that it sells for more money. So I learned some brands that did well and I am making a profit on them and I got to learn about them along the way. So if you see big box lots of stuff for cheap, you search and they're selling, I would recommend getting them so that you can teach yourself about them. This Invictus Blu-ray, it is sealed. I did get this at the thrift store for $2, sold for $6.49, free shipping. Shipping will be about $3, so I'll make about a dollar, but hey, it was easy to list, easy to ship. Uh, up next are these hot lights. Um, these are LED lights. I've said it before. They actually bought the last three of these I have. So they spent $23.67 plus shipping. I am going to give them back some money on shipping because they asked if I would combine, but on the buy it now they had to pay right away. So three of these, just a couple of bucks into them. They sold for $23.67 plus shipping. So we will make about a $20 profit on these. And this brand, there are big lights and you can figure out how to ship them because they sell for about $300. I got in a lot. Um, a palette from Bulk took over a year to sell. <laughs> it sold for $13 plus shipping. The buyer is $45.79 all in. I don't even remember what we are into it. I know on Amazon it sells for $150, but I was gated, so I could not sell it. So somebody got a good deal. So this is a car massager Yay! Also, you see it there it has like the shiatsu and um this is brand new and yeah i'm glad it's gone it was sitting right there you probably have seen it in a lot of my videos without realizing that you saw it and then up next is another of the vintage maps so the paper stuff is called ephemera and vintage ephemera if you find the right stuff can go for good money. This is easy to ship. It does not take very much space up. So this one is from 1939, which is pretty cool. It's in pretty decent shape considering. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer is $14.66 all in. So we'll make about a eight to nine dollar profit on are these Allegria shoes. So I got these in a box lot at an auction. Allegria is a great brand to look out for. They have the butterfly there. So we paid about two dollars. These sold for 22 plus shipping. The buyer is $40 all in and we will make out an $18 profit on those. And up next, these are uranium glass. They do glow. It is a open sugar and a creamer. I will pop the picture there so you can see the photos that I took of them with the black light. These I have less than a couple of dollars in and they sold for $25 plus shipping. The buyer is $38.50. All in. Up next is another scarf. So this one here was in the same scarf lot. Um, no name brand on this one or that last one. So I'm really glad they sold. Um, I just put this as Boho Retro um, a medallion, which there is the medallion here in the center. You see. Um, and this one sold for $6 plus shipping. The buyer is $10.54 all in. So I'm okay with lower on some of these because I did have a few name brands that brought over $20. So that works with me. And then we sold three CVS nasal mints for $12.15. No, thank you. Mommy already showed that one. Good morning wear. This one is a one quart casserole dish. Um, this one I have only a couple dollars in in a box lot and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $28.44 all in on that. And you can see there where it says the size. So I knew the next is a pair of Dickies work pants. These are size 40 by 32. I did get these at the thrift store. I paid $5. They sold for $16 plus shipping. The buyer is $24.40 all in. So not high profit percent like I like, but new Dickies work can't sell. They just sold pretty fast. I do have two more pairs left. So hopefully those will sell fast as well. So there are four of them. 
I put coasters or they could be little dip bowls. And um, they are Link Charter Limited, made in China. I didn't even put that in my title. So if the brand is not something people are going to look for, I don't waste title space with the brand. Um, so these, I have less than a dollar in. The buyer paid $9.99 plus shipping. They are $22.46 all in. And we will make about $8 profit on those of the vintage mounts. So I'm really surprised. I've just started listing these the last few days and they're selling decent. Um, and this one sold for $15 plus shipping. Buyer is $18.78 all in. Again, only a dollar in. I have hundreds of them. So if I make $10 profit on a hundred, that is a thousand bucks. So not too shabby. Super easy to list. We are going to sandwich these in cardboard to protect them because they are quite old. Like I said, from the 1930s up to the 1960s, um, just to give them a little more protection and put them in a regular envelope. And then up next is another one of our shirts from the state sale haul. So this one, it says life is full of choices. It's got different beers there. Um, this is an extra large. It is from 1996. And this one sold for $19.99, free shipping. We're about $4 in on the shirts that I got at the big estate sale. And we'll make about a $10 profit on that one. This little Avon Owl. Um, this is like a little shower gel. I paid less than a dollar. Sold for $4.72. So this stuff I've had over a year. I'm lowering prices trying to get this stuff out. And then we sold a case of CVS Nasal Mist for $39. Free shipping. Shipping will be about $10. We only have a couple bucks in, so we will make over a $20 profit on that. There are three of them. They are really pretty plates. Beautiful gold trim. So when I see pretty stuff like this, I tend to pick it up. These are by Black Knight. And they sold the three of them for $52.47. I have less than $3 in. Plus shipping, the buyer is $79.83. All in. So pretty late. So um, next are some more paint brushes. Again, a lot of this stuff, guys, I bought a long time ago. I've been in the profit, so it just like trickle sells and I make all profit when it does. So this is for little paint brushes. Um, these are our Grumbacher number 864 or 874, sorry. And these sold for $18 plus shipping. The buyer is $23.08 all in. On I got these from Walmart for $0.99. Cents. Um, took forever to sell. I would not buy any more. So it is a bunch of sidewalk chops. So I have $6 in. Sold for $25.99. Shipping will be $12. So I'll only make about $5. So definitely not worth picking up. And nice. little Eddie Power patch is vintage it was in a lot of fishing stuff that i got for brad from one of the auctions and it sold for 9.99 plus shipping buyers 14.19 all in pretty much all profit because i bought that lot for him and that was just bonus along with it and there are six of these mid-century modern barware glasses going out um tim did help me at over the years kind of describe these and I did put that the lines are kind of faded in some areas. So this set sold for $20 plus shipping. The buyer is $31.55 all in. These are in one of my box lots, so I'm only a couple dollars in. So it'll be about a $15 profit on those. Last is this Hark the Herald or Hark It's Herald. This is from 1989 Hallmark Ornament. And I paid less than a dollar. Sold for $3 plus shipping. Again, stuff I've had forever. I'm lowering prices because I want it gone. So, appreciate you guys watching. And... Yeah.